tubs, which I'll be putting my Amelia in, because um, they're a bit bigger and probably be nicer for the Amelia. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to gonna, gonna, gonna fix the camera angle real quick. Hang in there. My trusty all our enclosures to elevate the view. There we go. So this is some leftover substrate I have from other enclosures and I'll be transferring this substrate in there as well. But before we can do that we first need to get the tea out. So that's the plan now. This is my um, Amelia, as you can see. Gorgeous as always. So I don't know how um, well behaved she'll be. I'm trying to see if I've got a clean tub somewhere to put her in in the meantime. But by the looks of it, all the tubs I have are pretty, pretty used. Oh well. I'll just try to walk her into one of these for now. I'll just see if I can make her walk over without bothering her too much because I don't really want to cup her if I can avoid it. scared me, Jesus. Look, I'm not food, okay, I'm just trying to... Okay, okay. Look, girl, okay. That's a bit of a surprise, I wasn't really expecting that to happen. So maybe you will have to cover after all. Come, come. I mean, at least she's not kicking hair, which I think I prefer. <laughs> Let's use this lit. Sure. Back up a bit. It's cleaner. Let's move her up. Gorgeous. There we go. Thank you for your cooperation. And let's put her to the side for a bit. We'll clean out the water dish in a bit. Oof. Yeah, we'll definitely clean out the water dish in a bit. <laughs> I've got. jar here and I'll just dig out this entire corner with a mold. Oh she's striking at the ball. Let me get the entire thing out. Clean this off a bit. Get more of the substrate out of the way. There's mold in there, we don't like mold. Some of her webbing, I'll put that back into the enclosure so she has some world webbing to him. Web up to because apparently they can recognize your own wedding, so she'll probably like that. There's more of the substrate here. Oh, okay, that'll probably do. Let's start moving over to the new enclosure now. When she was smaller, she used to burrow, so I want to give her plenty of substrate so she can if she wants to. But I'm not sure I'll be putting all of substrate in there. And this seems to be a good amount, yeah. But 
that'll definitely be more than enough. Okay, so now we'll just brush off in there because it's her webbing anyway. Oh, this used to be glued on there. Oh well. For now, we'll put this in the substrate like that. I've learned that gluing um, a piece is really only necessary with uh, smaller slings. So with bigger specimens, they'll just web up around it and that'll hold it up. So she has a small cave here now. I'll uh, stick these leaves back in there. And I still gotta clean the water dish, but um, this is some of her webbing that'll Stick around to make it feel a bit like home. I'll keep this corner for the water dish, so I'll put that here. So now um, I'll go clean the water dish real quick, so don't run away. I'll let you guys look at the spider while I go clean that, so give me one minute. Okay, I have returned and placed the water dish inside with some water already inside of it. There we go. Let's move this a bit closer now. Let's see if we can angle this a bit down without making the tripod fall over. Okay, there we go. That's pretty much all it needs to have. So now you can put the tarantula back inside. Okay. to go that way, if you want it to go that way. Yes, yes. Down you go. That's it. That's it, let go. Okay. Stay in there, don't walk out of there. Where's the lid? Um, there. Okay. So I put her in. We'll put the lid on. And there we have it. Now she has a lot more room to move around now, because when you compare it to the old enclosure, it's basically the same length, but just a lot wider. So I'm sure she'll enjoy it in there a lot more. So there we have it. The Brack Pelt Amelia has been rehoused. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more like these, please subscribe and uh, I can promise you more will be coming. Give a thank you for uh, Sirico Palma and Gustin for um, being our camera stand of the day. And yeah, I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye.